Welcome to the wrapped tutorial on file types and preferences. We are just going to go through these simple help menu, help file view and help here. And I'll explain the typical file structure that wrapped operates with. Starting with help, we click on help and you can see about wrapped. If you click on this, it shows you all the details about your license, including who has bought it originally. Uh, that can be accessed down here if you double click the RC plus PT license. If your license is just a reinforced concrete license, then this will just say RC. I double click that and it brings up the same thing. The help menu here uh, can be brought up at any time when you're using wrapped and it's context sensitive. So if you're at a particular location, you don't understand what a field means, press F1 and it'll take you to the help, which will explain everything. Going over to view, we have the status bar, which is at the very bottom. No need to turn that off, we'll keep that on. And we have user preferences. So we'll click that and it'll explain all these user preferences now. First thing we can set other units. Um, default is scientific units, which uh, millimeters, meters, uh, megapascals. Metric is the same thing, but is centimeters instead of millimeters. Uh, imperial um, inches and um, feet. Uh, we can also change the standard or the uh, default decimal places. So for each of these dimensions or the, each of these measures, you can go in there, double click on there and select how many decimal places you'd like for each of those measures. Moving along to user options. In user preferences, um, most of these are self-explanatory. Um, Reprofiling for post-tension tendons uh, is probably better understood once you've covered the post-tensioned video tutorial or have looked at the help file. One thing that you may, which may not be immediately apparent is the circle, quad circle conversion. The way wrap works is it divides every shape into uh, a trapezoid. So when a circle is put into a in, into a frame, for whatever reason, it might be a, a void or it might be part of the, the frame, wrapped will divide that circle into trapezoids. And the number of segments in the circle um, dictates the number of trapezoids. So you can also decide if you want the very top of the trapezoid to be a triangle or if you want it to be a trapezoid at the top, which would, you'd click that. You really probably don't need to change anything there. Levels of undo, that is the way wrapped manages its undo feature or control Z. When you change something in wrapped, anything, could be the code, it could be a reinforcing bar, it could be uh, cover. Wrapped will then go back into the design and adjust everything to as best it can match the change that you've made. So if for example you change cover from 30 to 50 millimeters, it will go into all the reinforcing bars and and patterns and adjust that to suit. So there's basically what happens is wrapped remembers everything at a particular state in time. And when you make a change and everything else changes at the same time as a result, it'll now remember the new state. So levels of undo are the levels of the number of states it's remembered. Um, you can increase that, it just takes up more memory. Okay, moving on to page options. These are just options for report printing. You can add your company logo down here. Line options, these are the lines that appear on the graphs in wrapped, which you'll see when you look at the tutorial on output. The font, uh, the font sizes inside uh, many of the, the grid inputs and outputs, much like Excel. You can increase the fonts for screen or for the printer in the report itself, and you can change the icon size. Um, some people run into problems with the size of wrapped, uh, or when I say the size, I'm talking about the viewing size because they've got a 4K monitor 
and there is a way around that. I'll explain that to you now. Okay, what you want to do is go to your installation folder where Wrapped was installed. I have uh, already done it here. So it's usually found in your C drive, program files, PCDC, Wrapped. And you go to the executable, which is wrappedw.exe. Right click that, go to properties, then go to compatibility, and then go change high DPI settings. Click on that, and then click on that, click OK, and you should find that the scaling for wrapped is more appropriate and it's not tiny. Okay, moving back to our preferences. Let's move on to check for update. Um, this is the only communication that Wrapped has via the internet or over the internet beyond the walls of your local area network. And it is just to check for a new version of Wrapped and it does that by checking the website and comparing it to the version on your computer. You can stop it doing that if you want to by clicking that button, that checkbox there, and it won't do any more checks for you. You'd have to manually check that if you wanted to see updates. Output report settings. Uh, this is more obvious when you see the output. This essentially sets the defaults to which bits of the output are going to automatically be displayed. Things that are unticked are still accessible, but they're just um, collapsed. You can also export things to XML, including tendon profiles, if you want to put them into a CAD drawing. Um, and that's probably enough for user preferences. Okay. Moving on to um, file types. So when you go to the file menu, you can create something new or you can open an existing file. When you create something new, Wrap gives you three options. This option in the middle is a legacy option. It's no longer available on this version, which is version 7.0.5.0. You can create a new frame or a new column. Those are the main two things you can create. Uh, you can open an existing column or frame. And in fact, you can also open a materials file and a, and a, a design code file. Uh, you can create a modified um, version of a particular code or a particular um, material based on a code. So for example, if I click on materials here, it will give you all the materials, the base materials it has. You can then open that and then you can change things in here and save it as a modified version of um, that standards materials. If we go to, uh, I just want to talk about the file types that RAP uses. So if I go to File, Open, um, this is a folder I have of a number of different wrapped runs. The .rpf file is a frame file or a file for designing slabs, beams, floor plates, basically. If you want to open a file for columns, that file type is an RPO file, .rpo. Uh, if you want to open a design code, that's a wrapped um, design code file, RDC, and a material fire file is .rmc. Um, and you can, again, you can open these files from within this um, window here. You can go out of here and go to your wrapped installation folder. There are our default codes. If I select code files, there they all are. And similarly for material files, uh, there's default materials, and there's all our material files for each country. Okay. Uh, most of these um, are also fairly self-explanatory. You can create new design or modify existing design codes and materials, you can delete some and you can reset them. So wrapped has in in its, um, uh, within the file structure, um, files which are specifically um, uneditable 
on which these are on which these um, materials and code files are based. So there are a set of files uh, for codes and for materials which are not editable uh, on which these particular um, design um, are D RMC and um, uh, RDC files are, are based on the code and the material files. Okay, we can look at um, print setup config for network use. Um, you really don't need to look at that for uh, if you've got a recent release. Um, all of the new wrap versions are based on code meter for security. So your dongle, your security dongle will be a code meter security dongle and that the setup for that is uh, um, explained in the help menu. So again, if you go to, if you hit F1, and I'll bring that screen over, you go to section two, which is installation, and you go to dongle setup. Webu code me to dongle setup is the one that you will be interested in. And here it explains how you can set up a server on the network so that the dongle can be shared by everyone in the same local area network. Okay, that's it for wrapped file types and preferences. Thank you.